Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how to send an email to SharePoint group. Okay, SharePoint group consists of uh, many users. Okay, so for that, let's create some action in Power Automate. Okay, for that we need one SharePoint list and one SharePoint group first. Okay, so here I already created one SharePoint list. So here my SharePoint list name is student registration you can see the columns your name class title okay and once it is done creating this um, uh, SharePoint list go and create the groups to create the groups we need to go to here site contents and site contents you can see site settings the site settings you can see users and permissions here you can see people and groups click people and groups in the people and groups you can click on left hand side more okay and you can see all the available sharepoint groups if you if you want to create one click new here new group and here you can name it and here you give the what type of permissions for this site for this group okay so you can select and click create because i already created here so i will make use of this my sharepoint e group with the name emailers okay here the emailers and in the group we can add number of users here by clicking new i added two people here so once uh, an item is created in the list the email will comes to these two people okay now go to power automate here and click automated cloud flow so skip skip here and from the starting let's see here so here when an item is created okay first step so here give the url sp lessons sharepoint lessons and here select the uh, list student registration sturg okay so the ne ne next step will be so here we cannot send directly to the email to sharepoint groups here we need to make use of rest api url which will uh, give the data of the sharepoint group users okay for that click new and http and we have an action send an http request to sharepoint so we if you are familiar with the rest api programming in sharepoint uh, it will be very easy so first select the url here sp lessons and uri uri means the rest api url so for that there is a format here you can select like this underscore api web site groups and get by name the get by name you must give the sharepoint group name here emailers users and filter with the email okay copy this url and paste in the uri here okay done now headers we must give the headers here okay here we need to give headers like application and here generally here we uh, the rest api url will give the json so we need to add the headers value as a json and uh, it will be in the the word data will be in the verbose mode okay for that if you want more go to google the rest api sharepoint okay so click this and you can see here we can have here the accept here okay accept we need to add accept here get method here okay so let's see here get method is here header must be accept here okay accept and the value will be application slash json over data equal to verbose okay add this Okay, now done okay 
so we have created the headers for this uh, HTTP request also now uh, when we copy this URL in the web browser you will get all the data in JSON format so we need to parse that JSON format okay for that there is a new st click new step and click here parse and you can have this action parse JSON so now the content so the content means this content must come from the previous step okay so click this add a dynamic value and here send an HTTP request to SharePoint this body we need okay so here body came now the schema the schema is very important so we need to add one dummy schema here so then it will generate this final one so here let's add this uh, schema okay let's add this dummy one dummy payload normally they call as here okay click generate and add a sample here like this click done so now you got the final schema okay once this final schema comes we need to write apply to each and get the email of that uh, particular users because here it is a type of errors right so we need to apply to each and get the email of one one person in that group okay so now click new step here apply to each apply to each so here we will get the data here apply to each and select an output from the previous steps okay so the previous step will be parse json so now parse json this select this results okay so once the results comes and we need to store that particular uh, values okay so for that we can initialize a uh, variable to build uh, to get the uh, that email of that particular uh, user so initialize a variable initialize a variable here so here there at it is mentioning like the operation initialize variable can only be used at top level okay in the top level we will add this so let's add here initialize a variable initialize a variable name it like email string and type string initial value are not required so in the apply to each uh, now let's uh, initial value we can give here like an email we can give if it is available when item is created your name here parse is an email is here right we can assign that value so now this email has been assigned here and then apply to each we get the results here See body results okay so we click add an action here to send the email send email okay so here in the two we can click here effects and here we can give the email or here email is here we can give email here directly or we can also we already created one okay where is this person 
I think we have not saved that uh, initialize variable right it must be created in the top apply to each uh, delete this we can directly get from no need of any uh, variable also just uh, add here and get the email here and subject test test so test test so now let's save this and so now uh, we have completed this creation and let's create one uh, list item so that let's see how this flow will run new item mr krishna class 7 save so i have created one list item mr krishna 7 and let's see whether this flow is successfully run and all runs here you can see need to wait for some time to see the successful run of this flow but before that we can check the email whether we got an email or not because if it is successful yeah okay so i have not received any email now okay let's see any problem is there with the flow here when your flow runs you will see its history here okay let's see it succeeded here okay and let's go and see whether how it sent the email okay this is when i created address inputs http lessons okay send an http request here get method key accept this person uh, sorry this json here parse json here schema content here there is a type email string okay so the outputs let's see how many emails we got here we got one email here two emails are there and apply to each we got two steps here in the first step we got we sent an email to this person in the next step we sent an email to this person okay let's check check their emails in boxes and go here and click outlook yeah we got one test email okay so and go to the other person's email so sign out and check the other person email uh, two emails we need to get right because there are two people in the sharepoint group So we need to switch that on this particular SharePoint leader dot com Microsoft dot com check his inbox and we need to get one email with test okay you can see the time also so it's now successfully we have sent this and this is how the procedure to send an email to all the people in the sharepoint group okay so if you have any doubts uh, comment in the youtube video thanks for watching